In this problem, we are asked to determine the number of intervals necessary to give an approximation of this ridiculously nasty looking integral with error less than 0 0.000001 using Simpson's rule. Now before you go and actually try to do this with Simpson's rule and start calculating derivatives and try to get to the fourth derivative, it's helpful to keep in mind that there is a note in the text, a remark, that says that Simpson's rule will be exact for cubic polynomials. It's not an approximation. It is an exact value. So really, to answer this question, we don't even need to do Simpson's rule. All we need to figure out is what is the minimum number of subintervals that we need to do Simpson's rule at all? And the answer is simply n equals 2, the smallest even number that we can use. It's not 0.